Hello, my name is Barham Abadeya. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic, specializing in the treatment of obesity. Obesity affects more than one-third of adults in the United States and is one of the leading causes of preventable deaths in this country. Moreover, obesity is associated with many medical problems such as diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, joint disease, and cancer. Overweight and obese are terms used to describe ranges of weight that are greater than what is generally considered healthy. The most widely used measurement of obesity is the body mass index or BMI. BMI approximates body mass using a mathematical ratio of weight and height. A BMI between 25 and 29.9 is considered overweight for an adult. A BMI of 30 or higher is considered obese. For many patients with weight problems, there are few treatment options other than diet and exercise or traditional bariatric surgery. Unfortunately, these treatments can have limitations. Diet and exercise are important cornerstones for the success of any other interventions. But often, they are not enough to produce significant or sustained weight loss. Bariatric surgical procedures offer effective and durable weight loss but not everyone is a good candidate for surgery or wishes to undergo the associated costs and risks. Thus, for patients who require more intervention than diet and exercise alone, but less invasive options than traditional bariatric surgery, there is a treatment gap in the management of obesity, that is, until now. As part of the Mayo Clinic Innovative Weight Loss and Wellness Program, the intragastric balloon is intended to fill this treatment gap for patients with mild to moderate obesity. The balloon itself is made from soft yet durable silicon. Placing the balloon is an FDA-approved non-surgical procedure typically done under sedation. During the procedure, the thin and deflated intragastric balloon is placed endoscopically through the mouth and into the stomach. It is then filled with a salt solution until it's about the size of a grapefruit. The procedure usually takes 20 to 30 minutes and patients generally go home the same day. The intragastric balloon works by filling a portion of the stomach cavity. This serves to decrease the rate at which food empties from the stomach and simulate the receptors that signal satiety to the brain. Ultimately, this means the patient is able to feel full quicker and consume fewer calories. In addition to the placement of the intragastric balloon, Mayo Clinic's comprehensive weight loss and wellness program includes removal of the balloon after six months as well as 12 months of evidence-based interventions administered by experts in psychology, endocrinology, and nutrition. Please watch Dr. Mundy's videos for more information about this program. So how effective is the intragastric balloon procedure? Let me share with you some important facts. For more than 20 years, the global medical community has been using intragastric balloons to help thousands of people lose between 10 and 15% of their total body weights. In a recent U.S. comparative study, patients suffering from obesity with a BMI between 30 and 40 were randomly assigned to either a treatment or control group. The treatment group underwent a program similar to Mayo Clinic's program. The intragastric balloon was placed, patient participated in a 12-month behavior modification program, and each patient had their balloon removed after six months. Conversely, the control group participated in 12 months behavior modification program alone. At six months, patients who received the intragastric balloon lost on average three times more weight than those who followed a diet and exercise regimen alone. The majority of these patients also maintained their weight loss at one year mark, that is six months after the balloon was removed. Serious complications with the intragastric balloon are rare. These include blockage of the bowel, injury to the digestive tract or perforation of the stomach that could require surgery to repair. Stomach discomfort and nausea are common and can be easily managed with anti-nausea and pain medications. Usually these symptoms resolve within a few days. In rare cases, these symptoms persist. Early balloon removal is required. Some patients are not eligible to receive the intragastric balloon, such as those with previous gastric surgery. At this time, the intragastric balloon is not covered by health insurance. Therefore, we have designed an out-of-pocket bundle to help patients afford this treatment. This bundle price includes the placement and removal of the intragastric balloon, as well as the critical interventions that are key to our innovative weight loss and wellness program. 
Thank you for taking the time to learn about the intragastric balloon. Please feel free to contact me or another member of our team using the information provided at the end of the video.